That can't fucking happen, brothers! No! How's it going? Draza here. And, uh... Yeah, today I'm looking at the, uh... Spectator mode for the first time. Uh... I just... So I want to see, uh... What's it all about? Using the controls and stuff. What players can expect from it. And, yeah, that's about it. Um... I don't know if this is actually going to be a video, but I'm going to see. So let's see, how do I change? Oh, that's a very odd system, okay. Um, so it looks like we got Raven, Jormungandr, and Krakon Raider, so big hero. Oh! <laughs> you know, essential part of Ferraner is the environmentals, of course. Ooh. Ooh! That's some serious damage. Let's see, is there free cam here as well? Oh yeah, E. Oh, that's a little weird when it pulls out like that. And this sensitivity, can I hold this? No. But yeah, but so far it looks pretty good. I think it's still, you know, a little too far gone and um... At least it's here, you know? These transition sounds are very odd. I don't know where they got that asset from. Oof! Yeah, but so far this seems to be a very one-sided game. Um, of course, Zero Crack and Brave Lord are both very good players, so... And this is just matchmaking. So I couldn't imagine. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to function the same way on console, though. Um, I was having some problems with staying in games. I was getting disconnected a couple of times, and I couldn't imagine how that would function on console, you know, notorious for Wi-Fi connections and stuff, stuff like that. Also, you know, I don't know if having more spectators impacts their performance in-game. You know, if, if somebody who crashes to the menu while in spectator mode, does that you know, lag the players in game? These, these are questions I want to know. Um, but hopefully those aren't issues and this works all well. That's just being really optimistic, but looks good so far from what I've seen. <laughs> so stupid. Alright, let's see if we can... Can I move to those players? I think there's like a little thing selecting them. Yeah, you see this arrow? when I toggle with the uh, select player keys, which are very, very awkward default. Oh, I thought it was going to crash there. That was my first experience with the spectator mode so far. Oh, he's getting some target swap. Mishaps here. He's gonna get pushed off this point. Oh, this Valkyrie just fucked them all up. <laughs> this Valkyrie, holy shit, dude. Yeah, I would, if I was that Lawbringer too, I would have done this. <laughs> I would have not stayed on that point after that guy. All right, let's see what Crackster's doing. Parrying someone? Oh, somebody already left the game. It seems. It's a little bit difficult to know where you're navigating onto. Oh, I see. I was gonna say like if I could see from who I can click on from somewhere else, but if you look on the top end of the screen, um, I don't have a cursor to show you, but you can see I can select through these characters. This is really, this is what I hope spectator mode would be. Honestly, it's um, it's a little shoddy, I gotta say, but it it kind of. My, my idea for spectator mode was to be much like uh, CSGO's Go TV, and I think it I think it's kind of close to that criteria, and I'm quite happy to see how it's came out so far. Could be fun. Let's see, how do I switch players? Oh, okay, so you just kind of suck these at the arrows. You can see it up on the top of the screen. Uh, let's go to 
crave since he's right here. Like I got molly. Oh, eat stun tap. Big mix up. Let's see what switches targets to the centurion over here. I don't know how he dodged that running attack, but okay. <laughs> this raider man. Oh shit. He's gonna kill all of them. Nope, never mind, Centurion happened. <laughs> wow, what an attack. Yeah, I feel like this this menu is um isn't as bad as I expected. It I feel like you could get used to this. Let's check out the free cam a little more. <laughs> I guess we won't check out the free cam. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that happened on their end too. So to answer the question of what just happened, from what I know, it looks like the spectator itself can get disconnected from the game it's watching. Um, I'm not sure exactly why it happens or if it lags the players in game or if it does anything of the sort. But um, yeah, something they definitely need to look into. And you'll see why when I load back into the same lobby. So, uh, we're loading back into the same game. Um, yeah, I guess this gives us a good idea good idea for the uh, stress test of the actual thing itself. And I am getting a phone call, and I will be back. Alright, now we finally loaded back in. And, um, yeah. So I think at the moment, the for the stress testing on this. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, it's a new match now, huh? Very strange. I'm very confused, honestly. Is this what we saw earlier? Is it just replaying the old stuff? Yeah, that's where he got mullied. This is just what we watched. So now we're being... <laughs> okay, this is scuffed. This is a really scuffed, man. So now we're watching what we previously watched. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, well, I'll just do some commentary while we <laughs> rewatch this shit. <laughs> anyway, um, I think the main issue at the moment, other than shit like this, is... Um, right now this is only on dedicated servers, and they don't include the other game modes, from what I know, which is okay, but, um, a lot of times when we're playing tournaments, and this is mainly what this is made for, is, uh, you know, we, we play on peer-to-peer -peer occasionally, and if there's no peer-to-peer -peer option with the final release, that's gonna be really limiting yeah another error is occurring oh god so we got a um let's see i think this is a duel it looks like yeah well it says right there um specking another one of my friends and looks like he he's run into kenzo too so this will be interesting um yeah I don't really have much to say other than so far the spectator mode it's been it's been kind of scuffed I'm not gonna lie um, the concepts good I, I really really like what they did with some of the stuff here but um yeah zone for zone interesting neutral guard break he's gonna head about soon oh interesting yep there it is it's the standard of balance versus the standard of balance, guys. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I wanted spectator mode to be much like Go TV from CS:GO, and uh, so far it's it seems pretty close to that, and I couldn't be any happier with that result. Um, other than it's it's like kind of performance issues, like um, sometimes crashes and other shit like that um it seems to 
be pretty solid for the most part. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this for tournament play and stuff. I hope it works out really well. And like I said, at the moment, um, only dedicated servers can show uh, spectator mode gameplay. So hopefully in the final release that changes because in competitive, a lot of times they use peer-to-peer -peer unless it's like really long distances, sometimes they'll use servers. Like the Russian scene usually prefers servers, but um, for the most part most people use peer-to-peer. Yeah, and hopefully this is a, a, a good way for, um, I think, I think this could be a good method to show how interactions work in the game at higher levels without, you know, first person perspectives. You can get like a better gist of what's going on, see rotations in 4v4, um, it's just a lot better in that regard, you know? Where I, I don't know if it's it says useful here. I don't think it's the best visual example what you see on the screen because it's just generic one v ones. You could do that from either player's perspective. But for the most part, it seems to be a potentially good r resource for a lot of players of all skill levels, and I hope to see that uh, become a thing. Really, I'm just rambling on at this point. I don't. I don't know what else to say. It's it's kind of it's very simplistic. It's nothing to be too overly explained, and I think that's where a lot of criticism of the whole entire thing comes from. Is uh, why do I care about this? You know, blah blah blah. And I can see the argument for that. You know, it's not relevant for everybody. Um, but I think I think in the grand scheme of it, there's going to be an entertainment factor that comes out of this for every player even if you're not using it you're probably going to watch a video that uses it in the future at some point and that alone is a good enough reason to show some interest in it um... let's see what else I can do with these? I'm going to try to play around with some of the mechanics here. I don't know how good the free cam is for 1v1s. It was, it was it seemed very useful when I was playing with it in 4s, but it's kind of jarring used in this context. So let's just go back to the players. This is a close game. Way too late on that reaction. I think he might be dead here, yeah. And that's a GG. So yeah, that was a short preview of the spectator mode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments section what you think about the spectator mode as a whole, what you see from it now, um, what you potentially want it to be, do you even care about it? I found it interesting. I hope it works out in the end and thanks for watching.